Hey y'all, my name is Princess and today we're doing an inventory haul. thumbnail either you are a small business owner yourself or you're thinking about starting a small business whichever one it is I just want to thank you for deciding to join me today for another video so I have a lot to share with you guys like y'all I've been shopping like crazy and I've been waiting for packages to come in so that I can do this video um, but as we know there are some shipping delays due to COVID um, and the holidays and so on and so forth so um, I actually still have some packages that I'm waiting for, but I was like, you know what? I have so much stuff already. I just need to go ahead and do this video because, sis, <laughs> it's a lot, okay? So with that being said, you have been warned. This video may be a little lengthy. I'm going to try my best to go through things as quickly as possible. And because it is a lot of stuff, um, I will be putting the vendors or where I got the inform or where I got some of the products from on the screen. If I can remember to put the links in the description box, I will so that if you guys want to check out any of these things, you'll be able to do so. Um, but also, please don't hesitate to ask questions. If I mention something in the video and I forget to provide a link for it, or if I get to um, mention where I purchased it from on the screen, then by all means, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and ask me, um, and I will make sure to get that information to you guys. Now, before I get into the haul, I would be remiss if I wouldn't share with you guys some of my newest um, product launches. Um, so real quickly, I just want to share that yesterday I did launch my turmeric and neem um, face, uh, my, my turmeric and neem scrub. Let's see the lights. There we go. My turmeric and neem scrub. This can be used on the face and the body. Um, it is great for dealing with hyperpigmentation, problematic skin, um, texture on your skin, ingrown hairs, either under your arms or in your groin area from shaving or waxing. Um, dealing with breakouts it, it's 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 really good so it has a lot of really good skin loving properties in it um, and so yeah I love it I use it myself I use all of my products myself so that one is new and then um, the next product that I just launched on Friday this is my foaming black African cleanser Foaming Black African Soap Cleanser. I can't even talk right, y'all. It is infused with tea tree oil and frankincense oil, essential oils, and it has a lot of other great um, ingredients in it. So these are available for purchase on my website. And tomorrow, this video will be up by December 20th, December 20th through the 24th, I am having five days of Christmas. Um, and every day up until December 24th, I will be having a different sale. So Friday, I'm sorry, on the 20th, which is tomorrow on Sunday, um, I'm having $5 lashes. So all of my lashes will be $5, all right? So stock up on your lashes and that's it. Let me go ahead and move on with why you're actually here. I'm not going in any particular order. Like I said, some of this stuff I've been having for a couple of weeks. I have opened many, many of the boxes just to make sure that everything was what it was supposed to be. And I have a variety of stuff here. So if you're looking to start a skincare um, business, then this is a great video. I um, suggest that if you're looking for products and items and, you know, some essentials that you get a pen and paper and you write some of this stuff down because this may be some stuff that you need. So first and foremost, starting off, I got a few gallons of distilled water. If you are formulating skincare products, then you want to make sure that you use distilled water. Not spring water, not tap water, not drinking water. You want to use distilled water. Okay. This is a staple. If you are formulating skincare products of any kind, you want to make sure that you have distilled water. So this next box I'm going to go through came from Amazon. It was actually delivered today. And I got just got some basic um, office scissors, some really sharp uh, shears. Um, I cut a lot of things. And I just want to make sure that I have scissors that are nice and sanitized. And that are um, just for my workspace. 
somehow some way my scissors always end up downstairs people are using them for other things and that ain't that ain't cool with me okay and then i got this rack right here this is a drying rack um let me take it out of the plastic so i got this rack right here um self-explanatory it's a drying rack so i got this rack uh, for whenever i wash my beakers um, and my glassware for my skincare products so that I can have somewhere for them to dry, um, for them to air dry. This, um, this is what I'm really excited about. So I got these little Mylar bags right here. Let me see. They're two different sizes. They are shrink wrapped, it looks like. I really don't want to... I really don't want to break the seal on them because I want them to stay clean. But um, let me see if you can see up close. And I'll try to put a picture from Amazon on the screen. But these are little white Mylar bags. They are sealed on one end and they have a notch where you can tear it open. And on the other end, they're open and that's where you will put your product inside of it. I have them in two sizes. I have this little tiny size right here. And compared to my hand, you can see the size of them. And then I have this size right here, which is a little bit bigger, maybe double the size. So you have to seal these with a heat sealer, um, but I got these so that I can make samples. Um, I got these, the smaller ones specifically for my lip mask. I was sending out samples in those little tiny jars, but those can get expensive over time when they're, they're not cost efficient. So I was trying to figure out a way that I can create samples to send out that was um, more cost efficient for my business. Um, yeah, so this is like 200 um, sample packs, sample bags. It's 200 in each, and I pay somewhere between 10 and 12 dollars for each one of these individually. So um, that's 200. Okay, so that is a much better deal. Um, and so these will be for my skincare products. So I'll put samples of my toners, my face moisturizers. Um, um, and stuff like that in these okay so that's why I got these and then I got these three by three um, heavy duty plastic ziplock bags I can I'll actually take one of these out for you since they're, they're easier so here it is so I got these um, specifically for my dry face mask so to send samples in these let me show you um, let's see so this is one of my face masks right here this is my brightening face mask my so this is a clay mask that is mixed with turmeric and a whole bunch of other dry botanicals and um, I want to be able to send these in samples okay so I got this to put my dry clay mask in um, so that I can send samples out to some customers so I want to start sending at least one sample um, out for each order so I can give my customers an opportunity to try out some of my skincare products I understand that I'm a new business um, new skincare products and some people are very um, apprehensive about trying new products especially for their skin so I want to give people an opportunity to try my products um, so that they can see that they're good quality and that their skin will love it so yeah all right, next up I have this. I don't know really. Oh, okay. So these are my glass bottles. So these are two ounce glass bottles and then they have um, treatment pumps. Let me show you the pumps up close. So they have, they come with caps and you can see it has, a, it's just a little pump, okay? And so I got these for a gel moisturizer that I'm working on formulating. I actually made one already made one formula i wasn't happy with it so i'm going back to the drawing board on that trying to reformulate it but that's the packaging that my gel moisturizers are going to come in and so yeah i'm excited to get that together so the next thing i got is some more packaging and part of this order was a fail okay i got this from i got these bottles from amazon and these are just two ounce bottles with a screw on top now if you follow me on instagram then you know that my packaging um I, I want all of my packaging to have white closures so when i found these i was like okay i'll get these and i'll purchase the white closure separately so i looked them up and let me show y'all what i got 
I got these from Amazon also. I thought <laughs> they were the right thing, but look how big these tops are. This was an absolute fail, okay? But I got these for my toners. Um, I've decided I did have, I, I was originally going to package them in spray bottles, but I have decided that I want them to be in bottles like this instead of spray bottles. So all of my toners will come in bottles like this. Uh, for right now, they're going to have the black tops on them because, you know, it is what it is. Again, I got these from Amazon. All you have to do is search, you know, glass bottles with screw on tops and they'll pop up. And this is a two ounce bottle. So I'm going to start all of my toners off in two ounce bottles. And then based on customer feedback, if they want four ounce bottles, then I'll make them, you know, a larger size. But for right now, we're doing two ounces. Next up, we have the exciting stuff. So these are some skincare ingredients. So I'm just kind of like going to show you, go through some of them. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about them. But if you guys, like I said, have any specific questions about any of these ingredients, um, then let me know and I'll get back to you and answer some of your questions. Okay. So um, where is this box from? So this box that I'm going to go through is from lotioncrafter.com. If you are starting your own skincare or body care, personal care um, business, then Lotion Crafter is a great place to go for um, raw materials. Their prices are the most affordable that I have been able to find. Um, so yeah, I really like Lotion Crafter. So to start off with, uh, I got some Willow Bark Extract. It's clear, it looks like this. I only got this in two ounces. This is really good. This is kind of like a natural um, salicylic acid. So this is good for acne prone skin, uh, for problematic skin. It also brightens the skin. So this is a really good extract to use. I got um, Lotion Crafter CCT, which is Caprolic Capri Triglyceride. That's just a fancy scientific way um, um, to describe an oil that is naturally derived from coconuts but it is not as greasy. So it's gone through um, a process that has um, made it not so heavy and so greasy so that it absorbs better into the skin. If you look in the, in, in the back of your ingredient list of some of your favorite skincare products, I promise you, you will see that ingredient and it is widely used in the cosmetic industry because it's not communogenic so it doesn't clog your pores it's very lightweight it absorbs and it's very moisturizing so it is a it's, it's an emollient um, and it's a really good one um i got these i got two little packs of jojoba beads you can't see it because the packages are not um see-through but this one is green these beads are green and then i got some orange ones or gold ones yeah, so this is like an orange color, uh, a golden orange color, and these are green. So I got these jojoba beads because they are a natural and gentle exfoliant. So I have a face cleanser, an exfoliating face cleanser that I'm working on. I also have some white ones. Um, but yeah, I got these because, like I said, I'm working on a face cleanser and I want to use these. And I'm working on a face scrub, a gentle face scrub for those who don't necessarily like sugar and salt scrubs. Um, because they can be a little, um, I don't want to say uh, uh, harsh, but they can be a little bit more abrasive than some people like. Next up, I have another big jug. So I, let me tell you how good this stuff is. If you are a formulator, you got to get some of this. You need this in your stash. So I got two of these. I got a big one and a, and a smaller one. So this is an eight ounce one and this is one pound. So I have one and a half pounds of this um, Caprile Capri Triglyceride. Um, and then I also bought rice bran oil. Okay, this is a really hydrating, really moisturizing oil um, that can be good for a lot of different um, formulas. It can be great for moisturizers, lotions, body butters. So, um, yeah. Whew, all right, I have another big box, okay? Um, this box, everything I'm about to show you in this box is also from Amazon. So right here, I have 32 ounces of, what is this, uh, cast out soap, liquid cast out soap, and it is the baby one. It looks like this. Dr. Bronner's is the brand. 
Um, and I got this because I'm formulating a couple of products that I want to use cast off soap for. So there are so many different um, foaming and um, surfactant agents that you can purchase for your products. Um, and cast off soap is widely known. Um, and I wanted to see what I can create with cast off soap. And again, this is the baby unscented one. So it's gentle. You can use this for a lot of things. Um, if you're not familiar with cast off soap and all of this 1 million uses, I highly recommend that you go to the Google and look it up. So I also got these from Amazon. These are some lab supplies. Some things that I use, that I like to use when I'm formulating. They are stainless steel. So um, they're safe to use in different ingredients, um, in different pHs. So yeah. So it just comes with a, a variety of different tools. So we have some steel spatulas, various different types of steel spatulas, little um, scooping spoons, has like a little scoop for taking out um, products from jars and containers to add into your formulations. You even have um, a little sharp end right there if you need to use that for anything and then these are my favorites it came with a couple of these these are my favorite to use these little spoons with a spatula at the back i love these love these so much i also have glass stirring rods i like those also i got some more oils um i have avocado oil I couldn't find the big one on Amazon and I needed it really fast. Otherwise, I would have ordered it from one of my suppliers, but I needed it like now. Um, I got sunflower oil. That's a carrier oil that I just want to try. I've never used it before. And I also got safflower oil. These are all really good oils to start with as well for your formula. So safflower oil. Again, I got all of these off of um, Amazon. And this is from the vendor Dr. Adorable. I have quite a few of their oils. I have their um, Camellia oil. I have their, um, what else do I have? Metal, uh, Metal foam seed oil. So I have a couple of their oils. They're a good product, um, a good brand. So I got those oils. I also got this little scoop off of Amazon. Can you guess what I'm planning on making with this little scoop? <laughs> and for pictures um, and just for storing and display and for when I do pop-up shops, whenever that's going to happen again. I got two sets of these little acrylic stands. They come in different sizes right here. And I got these so that um, whenever I do pop-up shops or if I'm trying to take product pictures, I'll have something aesthetically pleasing to place my products on and they are see-through they're clear there's just a protective layer of plastic that you have to peel back um, off of them to keep them from getting scratched and so they are clear so, got these from amazon now a product that i did not get from amazon i got this off of etsy and i purchased this from the plant guru and this is liquid African black soap now I have the blocks of African black soap and I melt them and turn them into liquid soap myself but that process takes so long um, I, I, that's actually the process I went through to make the foamy African black soap that I showed you in the beginning of the video but I wanted I wanted to eliminate that step okay because it takes like a whole day for my soap to dissolve because I, I don't rush it I let it naturally dissolve you know yeah, and it takes a long time for that soap to dissolve and become liquid. So I found a vendor that has pure African black soap. And I'm so happy because this will cut the process of me making my um, cleanser literally in half. So I'm happy about that. Can y'all believe that I'm on my last box? Last thing from Amazon before I get into this last box I, uh, I have over here is I got this right here. So I got this to store some of my lab um, supplies, mostly like my stirs and um, the pieces for my immersion blender and stuff like that. So that after I sterilize them, I'll have an airtight place to put them in. All right, so the last box, 
These items came from Make Your Own Dots Buzz. Is that right? Let me look at my packing slip here. Yeah, Make Your Own Dot Buzz. This is another, now this is a new vendor that I'm just now trying out. So I haven't used any of the products yet. Um, any other raw materials so I will let you guys know um, what my experience is like when formulating with them but so far so good everything came packaged really nicely um, their prices are not super cheap but they're not super expensive either um, some of their stuff I was like dang that's kind of expensive but such is life okay so not that I need it anymore but I bought a pound of mango butter this is how their mango butter comes packaged. Okay, so I got one pound of mango butter. I got um, witch hazel, which is one of the ingredients I use in some of my face cleans, uh, not face cleansers, some of my toners, not all of them, but I will be using witch hazel in some of my toners. So this is cosmetic grade, 100% pure distilled witch hazel. I also got vegetable glycerin. If you are a formulator, you need vegetable glycerin, okay? Look at the back of your skincare products, your hair care products, your personal care products. I bet you glycerin is in every last one of those products. So I got some glycerin. I already had some, but I was running low, so I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and now this is what I was really, really waiting for because I have a face cleanser that I am dying to um, formulate with this. This is Caprolu Capril Glucoside. This is a surfactant, which um, I guess in layman's terms, you can say your bubbling agent or your soaping agent, your cleansing agent. But it is also a um, solubilizer. So if you are um, formulating face washes that have that you want to include oils in and you don't want the oils to separate, then you can use, you can add this into your formula, mix in your essential oils or your carrier oils like jojoba oil or um, olive oil, whatever you want to use in your uh, formulation, mix it in. And then when you add this into the rest of your formula, it will keep those oils from separating so that you don't have to shake up the product. So I've been waiting for this. All right, and then I bought two exotic butters, okay? So um, I bought two pounds of Muru Muru butter, Muru Muru butter, right here. This butter is interesting and I can't wait to work with it and then the last exotic butter that I bought is Elipe butter so I bought two pounds of Elipe butter so yeah I can't wait to use these and again those products came from make your own dot buzz okay so that's it y'all we got for the video if you made it thank you so much for hanging in there with me again thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you guys saw some things that you can add to your own business inventory or some things that can help you out again if you have any more questions or any questions or if you would like me to go into depth about any of the stuff that i showed you or if you want me to show you anything um, regarding my end of my business then please let me know that's it guys again thank you for joining me for another video remember you are perfectly imperfect love all of you because god does and so do i i'll see you guys on my very next video until then y'all be very 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 blessed deuces